Today we're checking out the Autofall M6 gaming chair. Now this gaming chair comes with some pretty unique features, so I'm excited to share those with you in this video. First up, the chair does arrive in a pretty huge box, but the instructions are clear throughout with the box even telling you the right way up to get started. And then the build guide is pretty straightforward too. It's just a case of attaching wheels, unscrewing bolts, putting parts back on, and then bolting them back up. Overall, the chair was packaged very well, which is always what we want to see. I was also quite impressed with the wheel quality straight out of the box. These are definitely different to what I'm used to seeing. The chair was pretty quick to build and I had no issues there, which is good. So let's take a look at this thing. It's a pretty big, solid chair. It weighs 77 pounds and has a max weight limit of 396 pounds. So it's built pretty solid. It comes in a nice black and gold colorway, which certainly can fit most desk spaces, and is wrapped in an ultra soft, porous leather. It's pretty cool to touch and feels quite soft, even though the body of the chair is quite firm throughout. Let's take a look at some of the features. First up, the dynamic tracking lumbar support. Now this is quite a clever design because once you flip this lever up, it essentially unlocks this part so you can move it with your body. You do have the option to lock it in place so it will be fixed, but if you want support no matter how you're sitting, you're going to want this unlocked. It's not too much, but just enough support to feel it as you move forwards, perhaps reaching for something or just adjusting your seat in position. It's a nice feature to have and is going to help protect your back. There's a dial on the side here which also moves the lumbar board up or down depending on which way you rotate it, so you can find what works best for you. The design is nice and is pretty comfy to sit on. You really can feel the added support as well. The cushion is pretty soft, but as I said previously, the frame itself is quite firm. The armrests here are some of the best that I've tried. These are six dimensional and can pretty much go in any angle you can think of. There's plenty of adjustments in each way, multiple height settings, and ability to have the arms go wider, rotate either inwards or outwards, and even upwards. So you're pretty much covered for whatever activity, whether that's working, playing on mouse and keyboard, or kicking back with a controller, or even a handheld. Being able to angle the arms inwards and upwards really does allow you to get into a way more comfier position when using something like a controller, a handheld, or even playing on your phone. There is some play in the arms, but I guess that's due to the multifunctional dimensions. They're pretty solid once they're set and they don't seem to move around, which is great. I'm very impressed with the customization that you can have with these arms. Probably for me, the most unique feature is the built-in ventilated or heated seat cushion. Now this has a USB cable, so it does need to be plugged in, but you can use a battery pack and then slot it in the space at the back of the chair. But once it's plugged in, you now have two buttons for either heated or cooling. And there are three different fan settings or heat settings on each button. Now it's 27 degrees today, and I didn't try the heated setting for too long, but it works, let me tell you. That'll be something useful for winter, but the cooling function is not overly powerful, but you can hear and feel it right away. And I must say it does a great job at cooling down the right places, if you know what I mean. I'm sure the heated functionality is going to be a great feature for the winter months as well. Nothing like a toasty bum to keep you warm. It would be nice if it came with a ready to go battery pack that you could just charge, but battery packs are pretty cheap and you can just plug it into a hub like me, which works just as good. The cushion, as I said, is nice and soft, but yet firm. I expect this chair to soften slightly over time, but also retain its shape rather than just sag. We'll have to do an update video in some months. The reclining option is pretty much dead flat to 90 degrees. This reclines way more than any chair I've ever sat in. It's actually pretty mental. I'm not sure who would recline this far, but it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it, right? 
Then there's the fold out footrest. Now I love a good footrest and you don't realize how great they are until you actually have one. I use the standalone footrest on both my desk setup as I love having my feet slightly elevated whilst that's either work or gaming. And the fold out footrests are just fantastic for this. It tucks away nicely when not in use as well so it doesn't get in your way. I'm not sure of the weight limit on this but it holds your legs just fine. So overall thoughts of the Autofall M6 gaming chair. I think this chair is pretty epic to be honest. It comes in at 700 pounds, which is around $930. So it's not the cheapest chair, but it does feel like pretty good quality. It's built pretty solid. It's heavy and does feel like it's made of decent materials. The lever is soft, but also aids with cooling. The cushion and backrest are soft, but yet still firm enough to provide support. And then the entire frame of the chair is pretty firm. So it feels like it's not going to sag. The armrests are some of the best that I've tried and the fold out footrest is always a great extra, but the ventilated or heated seat is kind of a game changer for me. I wasn't sure how good it would be at first, but I really dig the fans blowing cold air right where you want it. If you're after a pretty sweet heavy duty gaming chair, then I would definitely recommend you take a look at this one. I do hope that this video has been helpful and that you've enjoyed it. Thanks to Autofall for sending this one out and thanks to you for watching. You'll find any links down below in the description. And if you have any further questions, shoot away and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But as always, thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.